Good morning, everybody. Charlie Cahoon, always good to be back home. I hate that, that it's raining, but that always makes for a good crowd in the Blacklands. Cause I guess it's one of those uh, hidden treasures of the world. <laughs> Next time you're riding on Highway 64 and you're going to Manio and out to the Outer Banks, there are exits you can take off of that, and you'll see some of the most beautiful farmland you'll find anywhere in the world right here in North Carolina. Started over 50 years ago with a group of about 10 farmers. Oh, they were having trouble getting stuff to grow. The local guys that said, well, we need to get a group together so we all can be on the same page, you know, of what goes on. And, uh, it's just been one great big research uh, organization, really, as a partner with the university, you know, NCDA, and, and all the local farmers in the four or five county region. The more we work this ground and the more we tend to it and the more we do research on it, the better it's getting. The more you learn yeah, about well, it. Because yeah. It's a, it, these are highly, it, these are soils that are really high in organic matter. Um, they really don't occur anywhere else in North Carolina uh, mm -hmm. and very rare across the United That's States right. uh, for that matter. And so, so the, uh, so the partnerships that Jeff mentioned with research at, at NC State University, with, uh, with NCDA and then the organizations and you kind of wear a dual hat with the corn growers, but, but it, 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 one group can't go it alone. I no, mean, agriculture's got to work It has gotten so big, together. and it all has to work together. you got to have multiple groups, multiple people. You know, ultimately, a lot of times you have the same goal, but you got multiple folks working on to get to that goal.